I'm working on a custom mount for my electric scooter that has a slot for my phone if I want to film. And I've also got some electronic projects that I want to attach to it for a future video. But the design has a hidden spot here where I need nuts installed. And I can't do like the pressed, heated press type. So there's a technique that I use where I size it just so I can press these in and they stay in place. I'll explain it all on today's Film It Friday. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. This video is also brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. So this is my electric scooter popping its neck up here. It's a GoTrax that I, I ride all over the place. I love it. I have one. My wife has one. We go riding all the time. It does have a display at the very top, but it's very, very crude. So I'm looking at doing a better display to tell me how much life or distance I have in the battery. I also wanted some mounts like for water bottles or maybe even mount my phone for filming. So I wanted to start with a bracket that would fit and this was the first design I came up with. And it actually fit, snapped over like that and held tight but when I took it off it cracked. So this wasn't going to work. So here's the original design in Tinkercad. And what I really just want to do is add a bracket on the other side. So I'm going to grab all the pieces here for the bracket, and then I'm going to actually duplicate it. But I want it on the other side, so I need to mirror it by clicking the mirror tool, and then click on the arrow to flip it this direction, horizontally. So now the screw shifts the other way, so now it's set up to go to the other side. So now I can just slide this over, position it equal to where the other side is, and it's actually got a slot, so it's going to cut this into two pieces, basically. The circle will be two pieces. So then I can group this all together, and then I'll have my new bracket with the same settings as before. Here's the nut that I want to capture. Now, point to point, I don't really care. I want to make it the same. 8.9 millimeters is fine. It's the flat side to flat side, the bigger surface. I want to make this only slightly bigger. So it's measuring 7.9, so I want to make it 0.1 millimeters bigger, or 0.05 millimeters bigger on each side. That way it fits tight, but I can still push it in. That's why I have the dimension 8 millimeters from flat to flat, but the same 8.9 from point to point. Same thing up here at the nut up here. 8 millimeters flat to flat on all sides, and 8.9 point to point. At 0.1 millimeter larger or 0.05 millimeters on each flat side, this thing fits nice and tight. It's not going to fall out. If I wanted to just loosely pop in place, I would go 0.2 larger rather than 0.1. So 0.1 on each side. But at 0.05 on each side, these things fit snug. And here it is hand tightened onto the scooter. The screws go through one side, the nuts on the other that are captured. The screws are actually recessed into it. But now I'll just tighten it with an Allen screw and this thing is snug. It's not going anywhere. Now that I have the base bracket figured out, now I want to add a cup on the front to hold an iPhone. So again, I went to Tinkercad, made some modifications, and joined it with the bracket. And you can see this is the way it's going to work. The iPhone's going to sit inside the cup that's mounted to the front. I sliced it in Bamboo Studio and printed it on my Creality K1 Max. This thing prints beautifully, and here's the result. And the nuts, they press right in place, just like you see here. So now, I just need to mount this to the other bracket, and then slide my phone in, and take this thing for a ride to see if this is even going to work. I'm questioning it because it's a little bit loose. I took it over some rough sidewalk, hit a few bumps, swayed back and forth, hit a few curbs. The bracket seemed to hold up fine, but the phone was a little bit too jumpy. I thought it would compensate, but it didn't. The bracket itself held up fine. It didn't slip around. It's not cracked or anything. The phone, though, that was bouncing around a little too much, and the camera couldn't adjust for it, so the video was a little jumpy. So I need to make this insert a little more cushioned and definitely hold the phone a little bit tighter. So I'm thinking of printing an insert with some TPU, a flexible TPU. But I'll save that for another video. Now I could see something like this you may want to sell or print it in volume. For that, you might want to check out PCBWay.com. Now I use PCBWay.com for most of my circuit boards, but they also offer 3D printing services and really high-end stuff. So you can upload your files 
and then you choose what kind of material, how you want it printed. Maybe you want it done in resin or even a clear plastic. They offer that. So just go through their form, fill it out, and they will give you a quote along with shipping time in order to get your prints. And you can print multiple prints if that's what you want. They also offer CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and if you want to take your 3D print further, injection molding. So check out PCBWay.com. They're more than just circuit boards. Now for the distance to empty display, I want to mount the electronics right here in the other bracket so I can see it while I'm riding. And it'll be some kind of LCD display that I can easily see in the sunlight. And it'll tell me how much distance I have left until the battery goes dead. And I can power it off an individual battery or I can actually power possibly off the light here. Tap into that, which I can turn on and off from a switch right here on the scooter. So that's what I'm working on next getting the electronics figured out, figuring out how much space I have here, and then I'll design a bracket. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or a membership at Thangs.com. And if nothing else, click on the logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Chuck Hellebuck's Electronic Products and Filament Friday.